As the day passed, the day this scripture just kept coming to my mind, and um, well, actually had a lot of things on our mind, and got up early this morning, way before daylight, read for a long time, went and fed some horses, got back, and went to the funeral, and back home, and read some more. And the scripture just keeps coming to my mind, and tonight I don't know, but God said to preach it tonight, so all I know to do is just preach it. Amen. <clears throat> Uh, I've got two or three different places marked and I don't know where I'm going to go to so you just pray real hard but I'm glad and thankful that I'm saved by the grace of God Amen. I'm glad I've got a home to go to and I'm glad praise be unto God this is what the Bible said over there in the word of God the Bible even said that the devil would translate his angels in a man at the They'd bring, even bring down fire from heaven and they'd deceive the very elect if it were possible. But the Bible didn't say it was possible. There's a group of people and there's not many of them left, amen, that's got the Spirit of God about them and they know what the Word of God says. And I've told more people in the last week, amen, praise God, amen, they just need to know what it says, amen. Everybody wants to find it. This you pray real hard. Uh, in the day and time we live, everybody wants to be above everybody else. They want to be better at everything. Amen. And these preachers and theologians in this world today that's trying to find something new in this blessed old book. Amen. And it's been preached for thousands of years. Amen. And the Word of God's ever settled in glory and it'll never change. Are you hearing me? Amen. It's always meant just what it said and said what it means. Can I get an amen? He foretold what would come in the last days. He told them in the Word of God that there'd be a, a famines and pestilences. He said there'd be wars and rumors of wars. But He said, Amen, the sorrow not for the end wasn't yet. Amen. But He goes on and He talks about, Amen, Amen, daughters against the mothers and the sons against the fathers and the daughter-in-laws against the mother-in-laws. And Jesus said, I came not into the world to bring peace upon the earth, but division. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Praise be unto God. Amen. Now listen. Amen. He didn't come, amen, to make us go along with anything he goes. Yeah. But praise God, he brought us out and made us a separated people. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God, the chosen few of God is for one thing, and that's to bring the yeah. glory to the name yeah. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. You pray, amen. Man. I got a lot on my mind, praise God. And I don't know why God chose me. There's been a many a time in my life that I asked God to choose somebody else. Hey Amen. Just leave me alone. Praise God. The battles get harder every day. Hey Amen. And things get tougher. Hey Amen. But I see the need for people to know the truth more now than ever been. Hey Amen. Because without the truth, they're going to die and go to hell. Hey Amen. Because the only thing you'll suffer is the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey Amen. Praise be unto God. Now I'm on. You just better pray this me. This whole world is so excited about what's going to happen after the Lord comes. Yeah. My God. If you're not saved, you're not going to have to worry about it. Amen. Right. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. There's an old one, I'm going to tell this and I'm going to preach a little. You don't care, do you? I get so much on my mind, Keith, that sometimes I feel like my mind's going to explode. And when God begins to reveal things to me, hey amen, I get so burdened down I can't stand it. But there's an old boy who used to, hey amen, work down here at Lansing and praise God, hey amen. Down at, you used to work there. He used to cuss every day, hey amen. Praise God, he cussed you out. He didn't make no difference. He's on God as you come. And one evening I went in down at the Shell Station and this old boy, I reckon he's going to make an example out of the preacher. That's how it is, hey amen. If you got a little prayer of God about you, hey amen, they want to bring you out and, hey amen, make a spectacle out of you. Praise God and let people laugh at you. Hey amen, well, let me tell you something. I don't take it so good, hey amen. Praise God, hey amen. I'll tell you right now, don't mess with me. Hallelujah, leave me alone. If you don't want your feelings hurt, don't ask me, glory to God. Now listen to me. This old boy yelled at me in the whole place full. He said, come here, man. I want to know something. said, who all is going to be in heaven? He said, there's a Methodist preacher in here that's the man to go. And he said, there wasn't nobody going but Methodist, amen. 
I said, don't make a hill of beans what I think. But I'll tell you what the Word of God says. Amen. 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 It ain't about me, it's about Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I said, I've got news for you. Ever him, according to the Word of God that I read, there will not be no Methodist in, the, in heaven. There will be no Presbyterians in glory. There won't be no Methodist, no Presbyterian, no holiness. And praise God, there ain't but one Baptist. And his name is John. I said, what's going to be in glory? It's a blood bought band of the believers of God. Amen. Can I get an amen? Honey, it ain't got a thing to do with church house religion. It takes a believer in an almighty God being saved. Amen. Amen. I just went ahead and told him, I said, ain't no use you worry about it. Because if you don't give your life to Jesus, you're going to miss it. Amen. Wouldn't have nothing else to do with me. You see, that's the way it works. They want to make an example of you, but after you tell them the truth, they don't want nothing else to do with you. Amen? Now I'm steadfast on what I believe. And if you ain't figured that out yet, amen, praise God, you will shortly. Bless him, Lord. Bless him. Now I'm going to read you something. But I, Lord have mercy, I'm troubled in my spirit. These people in Ice County, Allegheny, Watauga, amen, and all the surrounding counties and this United States that's going to die and go to hell because they've been misled right out of the pulpits oh, of America, amen. And praise God, everybody says, well, preacher, it might be right. Honey, there ain't no might be. Either it's right or it's wrong. Can I get an amen? It's either the truth or it's a lie. Can I get an amen? amen. That's right. There ain't no such thing as a little lie. Jesus. Used to work with a fellow and he'd tell when I'd say, you're lying. He'd say, it ain't lie if I believe it. I said, I don't care what you believe it's a lie. Can I get an amen? amen? Huh? That's what's what's wrong in the world today. Everybody says, well, if I believe it, it can't be wrong. You better get the right thing. Amen. Now I'm fixing to preach a little bit. They're talking about alcoholism. You can't tell me nothing about it because I was an alcoholic for years when God saved me. Can I get an amen? amen. I know what God can do. And I know what God does in your life. Amen. And how the Word of God is so powerful, brother. You're talking about deliverance. Amen. Praise God that people don't even know. Did you know? Lord have mercy. They ain't got things going around now that they lost so that you can heal people. I ain't never said that. But I do know a man. I can take you to a man. That's one of the greatest positions that's ever been known in this world, in the world to come. And he made Jesus a man. The great position. Shoo! My God, I'm about to fly. Thank you, Lord. But I'm going to preach a little and they think I'm crazy. Listen to what the Word of God said. Now you pray real hard, amen. <laughs> the Bible said in the 12th chapter of the book of St. Luke, amen, down about, hey, and you pray. Now I'm a, I, <laughs> I don't even know where to start reading from. <laughs> you just pray. I'm going to start reading over here. Hey Amen. Pray. I'm after you, do You better pray. Amen. Let's go down to the 22nd verse. Amen. I'm going to read the rest of the chapter. God be my helper. Amen. I want you to listen to what the Word of God said. 
The Bible said, And He said unto His disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, for what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither, which neither have storehouse or barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, In which of you that we with taking thought can add any add to his statue one cubit. If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why thank ye why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, they toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is it which is which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink neither be ye of doubtful mind for all these things do the nations of the world seek after and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things amen and the bible said but rather seek ye the kingdom of god and all these things shall be added unto you fear not little flock for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? He said, fear not, little flock, for it. Hey, it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Can I get an amen? Now I'm going to go on. And the Bible said, sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old and treasure in the... <laughs> a treasure in the heavens that faileth not and where no thief approaches neither doth moth corrupt for where your treasure is there will your heart be also. Can I get an amen? The Bible said that wherever your treasure is, your heart will be also. And the Bible said what your heart's full of, your mouth will speak abundantly of. Can I get an amen? It don't take me just a minute to talk to a man or a woman and figure out where their love's at. Can I get an amen? If they love the Lord Jesus Christ, praise God, they'll talk about heavenly things. And it don't take all day to get to it either. Now pray. And the Bible said, now listen. Let your lawns be girded about and your lights burning. Are you hearing me? Amen. Let your lawns be girded about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves liken to men that wait for their Lord when He will return from the wedding, that when He cometh and knocketh, that they they may open unto Him immediately. Amen? And the Bible said, Blessed are those servants whose the Lord when He come, cometh shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that ye shall gird Himself and make them to sit down to me and now listen, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, now I want you to listen. If he shall come in the second watch or in the third watch and find them, amen, so blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house, I want you to listen, because this has been on my mind since daylight this morning. He said, and this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have washed and not have it, suffered his house to be broken through. He said, Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Can I get an amen? Honey, I want you to know if the whole world was watching for Jesus, they'd be ready. Can I get an amen? Praise be unto God. Honey, people's are looking, but they ain't seeing an amen. Praise God, the world's blinded because of deception. Hallelujah. They're looking for something to come and they can see. The Bible said that which can be seen is temporal. Amen. What you're looking at will pass away. This church will fall down and burn one day. But praise God, He said that which cannot be seen is eternal. Can I get an amen? Amen. The Bible said the kingdom come not by word, but by power. Amen. Amen. I'm going to preach a little. He said to watch. If you don't know what our your Lord doth come. Be ready. That tells me, praise God, to get ready. 
You know what he called me for, brother? Is to get people ready. Right. To warn them from what's to come. I tried to tell them today, praise be unto God, that we're saved from the wrath that's to come. Amen. You see, this is what's going to happen. Immediately after, the angels of God carries the children, the believers, the children of God, the elect of God, out of this world, brother. And there's a meeting place in the air on the clouds of glory. But praise God immediately when they leave this world, the fires are coming. And the Bible said this world's going to burn up. Hallelujah, praise God. But I ain't going to be here. I'll be above it all. Glory to God. That's right. Thank God. They even got people to sing so that they ain't even looking for the wrath of God to come. It's going to catch them. It's going to catch them. If you're here tonight and you're not ready to leave, that's where it's going to catch you. You see, that's what breaks my heart. I know people that's not ready and it's about to kill me. What can I do to get them to see? Amen. What can I do, praise God, to win them to Jesus? I just prayed I could win one more person, sister, to the Lord. You've never regretted it since that night at the black top, have you? Hey, man, it's got good ever since. Hey, battles, ain't it? Hey, man, lady, it's a good journey. And just to know the peace of heart, hey, man. That when the Lord comes, you miss the wrath. Praise God, you got a ticket in glory. Can I get an amen? amen. amen. Hey, the Bible said in Thessalonians 4 chapter, amen. He said, I'd have you not to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others that have no hope. Hey, glory to God. He goes on to tell about God going to bring the saints that's asleep with Him. Praise God, He said, us that remain shall be called up to meet Jesus in the air to forever be with the Lord. Amen. Can I get an amen? And when He said forever, hallelujah, that didn't mean 10 years down the road. Hallelujah, I'm for eternity. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Ready. I thought about this thing. I chewed on this thing all day. Do you know these people sit right in the church house on Sunday morning every Sunday? I mean like clockwork. That's not ready to leave? Amen. Amen. Huh? Say, preacher, you're judging. No, I'm not. Jeff, I don't have to judge. It ain't hard to pick them out, is it? Say, preacher, you're a judge. No, I'm not. You know what the Bible said? I know you were the That's preacher right. bird. Amen. Amen. Right. He didn't say I had to judge Jerry Goodman. Right. He said, I'll know Jerry by the fruits he bears. Right. Can I get an amen? amen? I don't have to ask. God sent us in places, praise God, that you wouldn't believe. Has He not, brother? Sat down there around the campfire and listen to a man cuss, amen. Come find out he's a deacon of the church. Sat down in the house of God with him. Another man on the next evening and him drunk as a hoot out. Come find out he's another deacon. He'll split hell wide open if he don't get right with God. Can I get an amen? For that man is not watching for the same God I'm watching for. Because if he was, he'd be ready. Glory to God. So you lost your mind. The Bible says all over this scripture, and amen, praise God, I can prove to you by the word of God. I can preach you something I can't show you. It said that servant that Amen went back to drinking and eating with the drunkard. And the Lord comes and finds that servant, praise God. That he'd have his part. And out of darkness for this weeping and nation of tears. Yeah. Amen. You know what God's word tells me, Peter? He said that his people was steadfast and unmovable. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Steadfast and unmovable. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. Praise God. Blessed is a man <laughs> that meditates upon the laws of the Lord day and night. Amen. Yeah. He goes on to tell it. He's like a tree planted by the waters. Amen. You know what a tree's like, my 
of the water. Its roots is deep. Amen. Can I get an amen? Lord. Praise God. It don't blow over so easy. Yeah. Do you believe God? Amen. Amen. The Lord's coming. Amen. And He's going to catch our people. Huh? And the Bible said, praise God over there in the Word of God, amen, in Galatians. He said, Paul told them a whole list of people, amen, and ungodly things that was going on in this world. He said, I've told you in times past, and I'll tell you again, they that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. So if the Lord comes in that hour, praise God, and catches them in this mess, it's going to be a bad sin. I thought about the prophet Joel all day today. You know what Joel said? He said he'd be a, a great and a terrible day of the Lord. He was looking for a great and terrible day. You know what that meant? It's going to be a great day of coming, praise God, for them that's born again and are believing and are looking for Jesus. Can I get an amen? Deliverance, brothers, are coming for the children of God, Jeff. They won't be no more praying or preaching when we get over yonder. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody will be whole. Can I get an amen? But it'll be a terrible day for them that's not looking. How can we get them to look and we got to warn them? That's right. yeah. The Bible told me on learning the Word of God. Now this is why it's serious to me, brother. <coughs> this is why I take what I take. Yeah. And I walk on. He said, I set my watchman on the wall. Yeah. He said, when they see the enemy coming, he said, they sound the alarm. And warn the people. And he said, if I fail to warn you, of what's coming and the enemy kill you, then your blood's on my hands. That's right, man. That's he right. said, if I warn you, praise God, of what's coming, praise God, and you won't heed the warning, and you die, then the blood's on your hands. That's right. I made That's my right. mind up, praise God, almost 20 years ago, and I ain't leaving here with somebody else's blood on my hands. You don't have to like me. But I'm telling you right now, praise God, you must be born again. Amen. Now listen to what the Word of God says. And I thought about the thief, man, brother. Now listen to what God, he, he turned me up. Now I can't hardly stand it. Hey yeah, man, they've even got carnal mind. Yeah. They're even sending <laughs> questionnaires around from the Baptist churches. And they ask people, do you know what's going to happen when the Lord comes if you're left behind? And they use the Scripture out of Luke 17, amen, where it said they'd be two in the field, one would be taken, and the other one left. And they're telling our people that that's, amen, your lost neighbor and the saved neighbor. And whenever the saved man leaves this world, the lost people won't know where we're going. That's a lie right out of hell. Amen. Because the Bible said every eye see, every knee about, and every tongue shall confess that He is the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. And I don't know about you, but whenever the come, hey, whenever Jesus comes, there's going to be something that's going to announce His arrival. I promise you, you won't miss it. You know how I know? For the Bible said that a shout of the archangel and the last trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. There's going to be a trumpet sound that will wake the dead. Amen. 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 Now tell me he's going to sneak in and get you. Now I'm going to preach a little. And he'll go right back to the scripture I just read to you. He said, if a good man of the house had known what watch a thief would have come, he'd have been ready. And he wouldn't have suffered his house to be broken up. If the Lord knocked on that door right now, how would you react? I'm ready. Amen. Amen. I won't have to face all this mess. Faith and healing. Come on, give me a Christian crazy Lord. How would you face it? I speak to this all the time, and people look at me like I'm crazy. If Jesus Christ walked through that door right now, trumpet was to sound, shake this place. Amen. Where would you be? Or would Jesus catch you into something that you shouldn't be? I wonder. Amen. You see, I can't speak for nobody but myself. Amen. This is what he said. Now listen. I love the Lord. Amen. 
Amen. And you know, praise God, I tell people all the time, there's no reason anybody in this world should die without God. No, and I'm fixing to read you why. Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. You don't know how crazy I'm fixing to get. <laughs> don't you realize they're fixing to, amen, persecute us like you wouldn't believe? Yes. I told you as once before, what's going to splatter on me is going to hit some of you, amen, yep. just because of association. Yep. You'll be guilty because of where you go to church, amen, I'm telling you. Huh? Because I'm fixing to stir things up, brother, with the Word of God. Can I get an amen? Now listen to me. This is the Word of God, and I want you to hear what it says. Amen, over in the book of Second Peter, amen, the third chapter. I want to read you the Word of God. And then I'll sit down and hush. There's a whole lot on my mind, praise God. Huh? Yeah. He said to watch. For you know not what hour your Lord does come. But if you know where He was a coming and when He was a coming, we'd do things different. Amen. Even I would do things just a little different. Amen. What would you do, brother? Praise God, I'd go to preaching, brother. Amen. Say, so go to preaching. Praise God, I'd preach everywhere I stopped that, Brother Chris. I wouldn't let up. Amen. Matter of fact, the Bible said to go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in. And He teaches me that everybody we meet, we ought to invite them to the house of God. Can I get an amen? And get them in this sign. I used to be a stem whiner. The Lord told me to go in Walmart and preach, son, I'd bust the doors open. Food line. He didn't matter. Huh? Builder small. He didn't matter. People got to put me down, amen. And it started coming back to me, and I got to where it oh, yeah. sort of bothered me. People ought to be a help of me to put me down. Yeah, yeah. amen. Gotta get an amen. amen. Yeah. So I sort of held back. But I ain't holding back no more. Because well, the Lord's oh, well, right. Huh? The Lord's are coming. Can I get an amen? amen? Now listen to me. Child of God, the Bible said in the third chapter of 2 Peter, He said, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For for which, since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the Word of God, now listen, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out and out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that was being, being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same Word, are kept in store reserved on the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Did you know that God's a holding it in reservation for the fire to burn it up? Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. And there ain't nothing you can do about it, I made a fellow mad the other day. Seemed like I have that on. Seems like it's happening more and more. But he just kept on. Pray for America. Pray for America. Pray for America that God would touch it and make it a better place. You're praying against the Word of God. Amen. Amen. But preacher, I want it to get better. You can want it all you want to. But the Bible said evil men and seducers would wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. My God, false prophets would arise and deceive me, the Word of God said. My God, brother, hallelujah, listen to me. Praise God, America, and the whole world is going to hell, amen. Because, praise God, it's full of sin and ungodliness, amen. And those that don't believe in Jesus Christ is going to miss hell. Say, so are you sure of that, preacher? As sure as I'm standing here. <laughs> you see, at one time I didn't believe. 
I ain't always been a preacher. I ain't always been a Christian. When I became a child of God, my eyes were open. Trying to get laid man. And I began to see things, Jeff. People say, I've heard preachers down the television, they said you ought to cut that one eyed monster off. Well, that's fine. But if you make that stand, don't go down to the neighbors and watch it. Amen. If you don't believe in music in your church, don't go to the next church and listen to a gospel singing. Bless him, Lord. Because you're a hypocrite. Amen. You know, I like to see what's going on. That way I know how close we are. Do you know what's representing the families of America right now? A gay couple. So you ought to say nothing, preacher. I'm just going to enlighten you. I'm not knocking him. People, the Bible said he'd be that way in the last day. But you're going to sit around and wait for America to get better, and hells are coming. Can I get an amen? You know what we want to change our way of praying is that God would save our people out of hell, and He finds them in a way that they come to Jesus, amen. But He poor old time, sin killing, salvation on them. Amen. And you know what? It was a shock when it first started. You know right now, America's accepted it. <laughs> Don't say it's a bad man, does it? The things are going on in the pulpits of America at one time. Hey man, the old men of God have fixed them out. You're right. But you know they sit around it now till it don't look so bad. That's right. Bless him, Lord. And the churches of America is dried up. Yep. Huh? People that's children of God sat in and starving to death. They're weak. Unsettled. I'm going to give you some enlightenment on this thing. A man that's a living like hell cannot preach the gospel. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Huh? So well, I don't like that preacher. I can't help what you like. The Word of God said that God will not bless over sin. I mean the book came. And if God blessed this message going on in America today, then He'd have to be a liar. And that's one thing my God can't do. And that's why. Can I get an amen? If there's any lying going on, it's a devil. Amen. The Bible says He's the Father of it. I'm going to have to preach this. I don't keep you all night. But I do want you to go out in this world tomorrow and open your eyes and start seeing some things. Amen? Do you believe in demons? Do you believe in demons? Amen? Do you believe that people's possessed by demons? Huh? Do you believe that? Say, so preacher, I'll be a mother, Mark. Can you talk about me next week, amen, when you hear this CD? Bless him, Lord. Did you know what the Word of God said? Now you can go tell them I said this. Bless him, Lord. Because I've got Bible to back it up. Do you know that the Bible said that we, not only the preachers, but those that believe God's Word, can I get an amen? Woo. My God, here it is, Sister Louise. He said that, praise God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we can cast out demons. Amen. Hey, man, do you believe that? Hallelujah, I'm telling you right now, by the authority of God's Word, He said in my name that you can cast out demons. Do you believe it? Amen. Amen. Praise be unto God, I'm here to tell you, that's the Word of God. That ain't got a thing to do with holiness. Amen. 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 Where's it at, preacher? You go to the last chapter of the book of Mark and you find out what happened to them at believed. And the Bible said that God went with them confirming His Word with signs and wonders. Don't tell me. Huh? So you get a little off a while. No, praise God, I'm still in the book. I can tell you right now, I've got confidence in some of these men right here will tell you if you get out of the book. Amen. Huh? Amen, brother. Now I'm going to preach a 
Can't you see it? My God, it tastes bad whenever they go to talking this junk. Yeah. It turns my stomach. It ain't got the right sound. Nope. When it's out of the book. My God, have you ever heard somebody get up and read out of a different book? You pick it out, can't you, Jay? Oh, yeah. My God, I'm talking about it. It's like somebody throws salt in your eyes. If you know the truth. Amen. Now listen, I'm going to preach a little and you just pray. And you see, they're willingly ignorant of it. They made their mind up. That's what they want to believe. I tell people all the time, God made you a free moral agent. You believe whatever you want to believe. But I'm so sure of this thing, Brother Eric, that I, I'm just I'm so sure of this thing to this place. That when the trumpet sounds, you're going to see and know that this little fat preacher told you the truth. Amen. You know how I can stand on it that firm? Because I just read it out of the book. So you've lost your mind. You just wait and see. Amen. Just hang on a little longer and see if it don't happen just like I told it, bro. Now listen, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a trumpet to sound. I'm looking for the heavens to roll back, amen, and Jesus Christ and all arrayed in all the glory of an almighty God and the majesty of heaven, amen, when He steps out of the bride, hey, group chamber, out on the clouds of glory, and the glory of God shines upon this earth. Hallelujah, praise God. You'll see and know that He is God. Amen. That's what I'm looking for. Amen, brother. The Bible says it's lightning. Lightning without one part under heaven and the other part, so shall it be. Yep. In the coming of the Son of Man. Yeah. My God, look at it. It won't just happen in Nash County. The whole world is going to see it. Amen. 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 I believe this world will be burned up for the brightness of His coming. Yeah. Scientists say nuclear weapons going to get it. Praise God. I'm going to tell you right now, they ain't got enough of them to do what God's fixing to do. Yep. Do you know why I fight so hard for the truth? It's because I don't want nobody. I don't want you, none of your family, to miss this thing. You see, it becomes serious to me, brother. I thought about this a long time. I heard people say, that it don't matter what people believe, just get, them, get people saved. Well, that's fine and good, but after you win them to the Lord, where are you going to leave them? Yeah. You going to leave them as junk? Or are you going to get them? That's where you're going to get in trouble. Or are you going to get them where they hear the truth, brother? I've got to preach this. I've got to go on. Amen. We'll be here all night. I got too much. I got a law in my mind. And the Bible said, Amen. Now listen. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Now listen close. That one day is with the Lord a thousand years. And a thousand years as one day. <coughs> Do you know what he's a saying in that scripture? Yeah. Be not ignorant of this one thing. That a thousand years and one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day with the Lord. He's telling humanity that God does not go to your timetable. Right. Amen. Amen. A thousand years to God is just a breath. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're talking about a supreme being. Everybody's measuring it down in weeks and months and days and years. Hallelujah. God ain't going by your calendar. Can I get an amen? Amen. A day is as a thousand years. Same thing with God. Amen. Huh? Say, preacher, you're crazy. He's wanting you to know, praise God, that it don't make no difference whether it's one day or a thousand years. It's the same thing with God. Huh? Now listen. And the Bible said, Amen, now listen. And He said, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 
Do you know that's some of my favorite scripture, bro? Yes, sir. Some of these old boys that humanities give up on. And the preachers in America think they went so far that nobody can touch them. That's where grace comes in. Because God's not slack concerning His promises. If some men count slackness, but His long suffering Jeff to us were not limited in it, should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God don't want anybody to miss it. That's the reason He sent His Son to die, man. And everybody's got a chance. And what you do with that chance, praise God, is what's going to determine whether you spend eternity in glory. That's right, brother. Or in hell. Bless you, bro. And hell's real. That's right. Say, preacher, you're crazy. You don't hear much about hell anymore. The Bible said this, brother. This is what I'm going to get. I had to preach all this to get to this. The Bible said, but the day of the Lord. Are you listening? <coughs> but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That's right, man. I'm going to stop right there before I read the rest of it. The reason the Word of God said it would come as a thief in the night is because I done read you the Scripture. If people had known when He was coming, they'd have been ready, Lester. Huh? He's telling us to be ready. To look. To watch. And to pray. The first thing Jesus said in the Word of God in the 24th chapter of the book of Matthew, you can go read about it in about the 40, 44th verse in the 24th chapter, same Scripture I'm reading to you. He said, let no man deceive you. Amen. Deception, <coughs> amen, is coming through man. Amen. Yeah. Let me ask you something. In the Word of God, did the devil ever tempt anybody in the Word of God with something ugly? No. Did he ever come to them in a form of a dragon? No. Or a snake? Amen. Or something that was ugly. Huh? Did he ever come to them, praise God, amen, listen, amen, and a glass of liquor and show them the people have been mistreated and beaten and the wives been beaten and the kids been abused. Amen, praise God, listen, the homes being busted up. Bless him, Lord. You'll show them something beautiful. Amen. When King David was back at home with his concubines drinking wine and taking it easy, when the men of God was out there in the battle, brother, in the battlefield in the heat of the battle, the Bible said. Bless him, Lord. That's where he missed. Do you think if the devil took the ugliest woman in the country, praise God, and put her in the street naked? No. If you'll read about it, Bathsheba was beautiful according to the Word of God. She's an eye catcher according to the book. He's on top of his house back of taking it easy at home. He's already backslid on God before that day, before the devil ever come around. That's right. That's right. Done himself. You let down your garden and he'll put something in front of you. Amen. Right? Amen. When you get a hold of it, you're trouble, leave it. Yep. That's when you get yep. trouble. You see, David was chosen of God. A yep. chosen one. He committed adultery. All because he was backslid on God. He should have been out there fighting in the back. Yep. He's a leader. <coughs> my, my, my. He's God look out, man. Bless him. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. <coughs> he committed adultery. He lied. He cheated. Committed murder. Yep. And because of that, the sword aboted his house yep. all the yep. days of his life. Amen. Huh? I gotta preach this. You better pray. I ain't done. The Bible said, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up." Amen. 
And the Bible said, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, where dwelleth righteousness. Amen. Amen. It's going to be a new heaven and a new earth, but it ain't going to be the one you're standing on. He said he'd come as a thief in the night. I told my youngest ever since he was little, and Kelsey's here, she'll witness to it. When he got big enough to drive, I told him, I said, I can't watch you. I can't go with you. I won't be there all the time. But I said, live your life. And don't never do nothing that you don't want to get Jesus catch you in. Amen. Get an amen. 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 I remember when I, I'm a new preacher. My youngins know when I pray something happens. But I told my oldest daughter when she got her driver's license, I said, now if you're doing something bad, I said, God's fixing to stop you because I've done pray. He jerked a kink in you. She took her mama's Jeep to school one day. One day. Lay down. She had to call her daddy. They totally lost the Jeep on a little help and hit a woman head on. Amen. God put a stop to it. Say, preacher, you're crazy. No. God don't play games. No, sir. Are you hearing me? I want them to know that God's real. Yep. Say, preacher, you mean you tell me you'd pray for your young and the wreck? I didn't pray for the wreck. I just asked God to stop it. And he did. Amen. Amen. She wasn't hurt. Are you listening to me? Don't be doing something that you don't want Jesus to catch you. And if you are, get it out of the way tonight. So how do I get it out of the way? The Bible said if we'll confess our sin, that He'll be faithful and just to forgive us of those sins and for hey. Bless him, Lord. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? So you're crazy, preacher. I may be. But I think I'll just go on preaching while I'm in a preacher. When the Lord comes, Dave Lyles can go to glory and I'll have clean hands. You can do whatever you want to. But I'm going on to heaven. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Anybody go with me? Amen. amen. Praise God. I believe. Amen. Praise God. We can make a difference in Ice Karen. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Got your mind set you're going to make a difference? Yep. I don't know. The Bible said, Who is a wise man but he that wins souls? Amen. I don't know about you, but there's nothing greater in this world than winning somebody to Jesus. Amen. Amen. People tell me there ain't no such thing as winning people to the Lord. Well, how come the Lord spoke about it in the Word of God about winning souls? Amen. Hallelujah. Soul winner. Praise God. That's the Word. Amen. Bless you. I'm going to ask you. got you a song. Somebody get you a song. <coughs> you need to pray tonight. <coughs> you need to pray. Come on. Sister Louise, you get you a song. <coughs> so the watch. Are you watching? I live each day in victory because you need to pray. <coughs> Been on my mind all day. Every promise he ever made, Jesus will keep. Listen. Walk Woo. by my side and bed. You know what he said in the book of Ephesians? Love me he said, By the cleansing of the water. 
which is the Word of God. That He might clean up His church, amen, and present them to Himself, a church without spot and blameless, amen. He's getting us ready. Can't believe this one. Praise God, come on. Yes. It's coming, it's my tail. I my trembling voice once more. I thought about it today. I know how I may that little truck is the same I brought them up with. I may never get to drive it in this world. Amen. But I don't have to. Amen. Every time I close my eyes last night, I sing that button. Amen. I ain't never seen it going down the road, but I see the center, amen, and the glory of God, amen, is shining all around that garage, amen, you don't understand what God's done for me, praise God, that's a testimony in my life, that somebody loved me enough, amen, to put one together for me, for the glory of God, amen, Shoot. can't hard to stand, amen, People I've got to talk to, sir. got to witness to. I know so how I made it. Don't you know Jesus loves you? Why else would he call a crazy man like me to preach? Amen. You know he had to love you. To pick something up out of a liquor bottle, amen. And save it, amen. And call it to preach, amen. To stand in the last moments of time. Praise God that you can have to live. I got to experience once more. I know how I made it. I made it by God's amazing. It's by the grace of God, amen. And God's got grace. Learn to call on him. Learn to trust him. Amen. I don't know how long we've got. But according to the word of God, we can't have much longer. Amen? We can't have much longer. I don't know what it'll be like over yonder. Everybody, praise God, is trying to give examples of how it's going to be in heaven. They praise God by this world. This world is, can't even compare to what's waiting on us. The Bible said, I have not seen, here, not heard, nor entered into the hearts of man what God's got in store for them in love. Amen? Are you hearing me? Even when they entered into Canaan land over, I believe that was just a testimony, sister, to let us know how good it was. Yeah. The Bible said it's pomegranates. And the Bible said that they cut out a cluster of grapes, amen, one cluster. They took two men to carry. Yeah. Amen. I don't know how big it was. I know they had to be pretty good size. They had two people to have to carry. Amen. 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 I ain't never seen a grape that big. <laughs> huh? Amen. <laughs> Ain't never seen one that big. But he's letting us know, praise God. It's like nothing you've ever seen. Amen. You can't compare it to what's in this world. Get you a song, praise God, and let's fellowship. I thank God for everybody that's here tonight. You pray for your preacher. You see, I need your prayer. I need your prayer. Amen. Don't forget the CDs up here in Bibles if you need your Bible. <laughs> He's our I'm a Bless you, Pete. Love you, brother. Bless you, Pete.
Ganesh. 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 Ganes